Hello, and welcome to today's lesson about using Padlet. Padlet is a website that students can use to share their work with the teacher and other students in the class. Now, I will show you how to sign up to Padlet and create your own account. First, you need to click on Sign Up, and then you can enter your email address and a password for your Padlet account. When you are done, you can click Sign Up. Now, you want to choose the basic account that is free. So choose this one and hit Select. Now, we can make our Padlet. You want to select the Wall option and click this button. Now we can see our blank Padlet that we need to personalize. So the first thing that we are going to do is write our name and a description for our Padlet. You can just choose something simple like My Padlet for Photo Class. Now we will choose a background for our Padlet. We have solid colors, mixed colors, patterns, and photos. You can choose anything that you like that fits your style. When you are happy, click the back arrow until you see the main screen. Before we can start posting, we need to turn on comments by clicking this button here. And the last thing we need to do is turn on reactions. You can choose any style of reaction you like, but I think the like option is a good choice for my Padlet. Now you can hit next and we can start posting on our Padlet wall. To create your first post, click on this circle in the bottom corner and now we can create our post. The first post you should create is about me where you can write information about yourself and you also need to upload a photo of yourself so click on the arrow pointing up and click on pick file now you need to choose the photo from your computer and click open and we can see that our photo is uploading now and when it is done you can see it here on your post. Below your post is where other students can write comments and leave reactions. If you want to make a new post, just click on the circle in the corner. Or, if you'd like to edit your post, you can click on the pencil and you can edit your writing. But if you want to delete your post, you can click on the trash can and then press OK. So, that was a basic introduction to Padlet. Now let's learn how to leave comments and reactions on someone else's Padlet. So here we can see a list of the other students currently in the photo class. I will choose this student as an example. Here you can see a very full Padlet wall with many posts. You can also see that other students have left comments on his work and reactions and everything looks wonderful. So let's take a look at another student's Padlet wall. She has a different style and still many of the same posts and comments from other students in her class. Let's leave a comment of our own. So to leave a comment, click on Add Comment and type your comment here. I think this student did great work. Now we can see our name above our comment, so let's add a reaction. So I hope everyone enjoyed this basic introduction to Padlet, and now you can get started sharing your work with students and your teacher.